Hello, my name is Dale Wilhite. I right now live in near Panama City, Florida. This is a very short video in which I'm going to explain possibly uh, with uh, how the United States uh, may end up getting swept away into the coming world government. I think we all know that eventually we're going to have a world government, uh, whether it's in our lifetime or not, I don't know. But I think I'm beginning to see the signs of how it could come about. And it's relatively simple. We can, we, we can gently see the United Nations trying to claim that the UN Charter is somehow superior to that of the American Constitution. And of course, they're going around the world telling other nations, including Japan and Armenia and New Zealand, you know, uh, that they must stop doing certain things because it's not in the UN Charter or, or it's supported by the UN Charter or that the World Court does not uh, like it or support it. And here in the United States, I can really only speak about the United States, the United Nations is still continuously trying to overthrow the American Constitution, but without very much attention being paid to it by the media, and that includes Fox News Network. Although they have touched on it some, but they haven't yet, I don't think they've yet put it together as to what's happening. Right now, the new one is the United Nations trying to uh, claim that it wants a bill that prohibits spanking worldwide. That means it would be a criminal matter for a parent to spank their own child, even if it's just a little pop. They want it stopped. They also want it stopped that uh, children cannot be uh, told what church to go to, and that children can uh, go to court if their parents make a decision that they don't agree with or like. Talk about utter confusion. What's scary is we have enough people in America, especially in the White House and in Congress, who would be dumb enough to call for something like that and support it. Hillary Clinton has made it quite clear that she would support something similar to that. And that was in the last election and even before that, that she believed that children have the right to sue their parents. You know, under if their parents are abusing them and there's evidence of abuse, well, the state should come down on the parents. But as far as the kids suing them, I mean, give me a break. And nobody has to tell me what it's like to be abused. <laughs> Ain't much in the, that can be done to me that hasn't already been done to me by a stepmother from back in the early 60s. Anyhow, I think that's how it's going to come about. Uh, it's just like the World Court. The World Court, you know, has tried to claim that it has sovereignty over the United States and the rest of the world because they had enough, United, enough nations signed up to recognize the World Court as a final authority on uh, uh, criminal matters or even uh, non-criminal matters. That means if, uh, if the World Court ruled that all the nations of the world cannot, you know, civilian population cannot own weapons, then it must be enforced and that they have the right to arrest anybody that does not obey that law. So, so if our constitution here in America says we have the right to bear arms, as it does in the Second Amendment, that would be nullified by the world court. That's how they're going to try to take this country over, and that's how we might end up getting swept away into a world government in the future. Again, it may not be in our lifetime. I don't know. But I think that's how it's going to happen because we've got Obama in the White House and he's quite the uh, type of person who would probably sign on to something like that. Fortunately, it's going to take two-thirds of, of the Senate to pass something like that. They would need 67 uh, senators to support a ratification like that. It ain't going to happen. They don't, they're at least seven short. Uh, and come November, actually it won't be until January, they're going to even have less than that. Uh, so I don't think that's going to happen. But it's a preview of what could happen in the future of how the UN itself is trying to uh, rein in the right nations of the world and get control of them and control them if they can. And if they can just get one foot in the door where they can overrule the Constitution, like a weapons ban, which Hillary Clinton supports, uh, even here in the United States, uh, that's how that would be the beginning of the end of our American Constitution. And again, it's luckily it would take 67 senators in Congress to uh, support that ban or support any ratification. And they don't have it right now. Just like the, the Senate's not going to uh, allow the UN to start telling us who can carry weapons and who cannot. Uh, that's a, a death blow for in almost any senator uh, to vote for something like that, even though there are some that would vote for it anyway, even if it did cost them their seat. But I'm just trying to give you an idea of how I think there's a, how it might happen how the United States might find itself uh, swept away in this coming world government. Because you hear more and more about it. You hear more and more of the younger people saying, well, what's wrong with the world government? It's like in Tayride uh, last year, somebody asked me, what was wrong with communism? That shows you how ignorant people are about what's happening around them. You know, they just go by what they hear, not by what they know. 
But anyhow, that's just all I'm, I'm assuming. I don't know if the United Nations is going to be the one that creates the, the, the first world government. Uh, there's a lot of people thinking it'll come from the EEC. Uh, and that's my belief. But I think the UN has given us a preview of what's coming. And the danger to us is the fact that we have people in government who would support something like that and who would overthrow our constitution in, in favor of a UN charter or some foreign powers constitution or a world government's constitution. It's coming. I'm just hoping to pray it's not in my lifetime or I'm dead before it comes about because it's coming. But anyhow, I just wanted to throw that in there. It's just an analysis, an idea about how I think it might happen. Uh, I've been reading about end time events since I was a teenager. I started off with the, the late great planet Earth by Hal Lindsey, and I've been into it ever since. Kind of that, kind of lost it for a while for the last 10, 20 years, but I'm beginning to see how things are coming together. And I've watched very closely how, how it, how this might happen because back then there was really no way to know. And there's still really no way to know how it's going to happen. I still think it's going to be a major emergency, a world emergency that actually brings in a one world government where most of the nations of the world don't have a choice. Uh, but I can see the preview. I can see how you can see the birth pains of, a, of what it's going to take to bring to create a world government. And I think we're seeing it now. Anyhow, I just want to throw that in there. Just take it for what it's worth. You can, you know, you can come to your own conclusion. That's the way it's supposed to be. Uh, thank you for your time. Bye.